But in this video, we're gonna get into how my F-150 Ford Lightning protected my family in a side impact collision. So when this accident happened, um, didn't post it um, on any of my accounts, um, just wanted to process what happened. But the only place I did post what happened was in this Facebook group that I'm in of F-150 owners. And I'll link it below. If you're not in this group, it is pretty awesome because I posted it and just to show like, wow, this truck just kept everyone so safe. And uh, the outpouring in that post was so awesome to see of all the other EV owners, F-150 Lightning owners, uh, Ford Mustang owners, just talking about some of their experiences, how their EV kept them safe in an accident. And uh, it was just a really cool group to be a part of because everyone was like, that's why I love the Ford Lightning um, because of it just feels so safe when you're driving it. And then seeing like everyone's real life experiences of what they went through um, in different accidents was, was pretty cool to see in there. So we'll link that down below. This video is just a little bit about um, what took place. Um, but let me fast forward now. Here we are, we are at Northside Auto Body in Poughkeepsie. They took care of my Model Y in the past when, believe it or not, a couple days after we got home from the hospital, um, from our daughter being born, a windstorm came by and a tree landed directly on the top of my wife's car and the Model Y. Um, I thought the Model Y was totaled, but they were able to uh, work it out and just get all new parts because that tree just crushed the hood, the front bumper. So I thought that car was gonna be totaled, the Model Y, when that tree fell on it, and it wasn't. They wound up fixing it. The adjuster said that it's worth um, us to fix this car based on the value of it. So when this happened, I was like, oh, this car is gonna be fine. We'll be able to get it fixed. Um, but the more I looked at it, I was like, that probably won't be the case. We haven't filmed any videos with the Ford Lightning and we've had this truck for a little over a year now. It's got 15,000 miles on it. I did not think our first video would be with the side impact collision, but let me rewind. Let's talk about what's going on here. So just to go back in time, we were at the Central Hudson Summit. We had a day full of everything, utility and solar and battery storage at Central Hudson Gas and Electric. That's our local utility company here that puts that event on. I get a call from my wife after, hey, we're gonna be um, in New Paul's, come meet us. So I met her and my daughter, Mia, in New Paul's. We're at Starbucks, we saw them there. And I was like, all right, let's get out of here. Let's go home. I put my daughter in the back seat over here. I open the door that won't open because it's the side impact. I put her in the car seat. I tightened her down a little extra tight that day. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I tightened her down. And it's crazy because I didn't trust my gut. I was like, maybe I should drive home. And I didn't. Uh, my wife was already in the driver's seat. So I was like, all right, you take this home. Um, she followed me. I was in the cyber truck in front and um, just made our left heading out of town. And then I get the call you never want to hear, which is Anthony, turn around. Um, we've been in a car accident. The phone is on and you just hear screaming um, because what happened was they got in a car accident. My wife threw her phone in the back seat and then she went around to come get Mia out of the car, which she couldn't do. So then she went around the other side to get her out. Mia was totally fine. Um, I think she was more frightened from Bianca screaming, trying to, to get her out. And um, that's why I didn't even ask Bianca to be in this video, just because I didn't want her to have to think about the moments again of it. Point of this video is to talk about how safe electric cars are and just how these cars protect you in those accidents. Not to say there's not safe cars out there. When I was Googling it last night, I was looking like Acuras. There's so many other ICE cars that are safe, but I just, 
on YouTube, I don't see enough videos talking about electric cars and how safe they are. Maybe it's because I'm not in the algorithm, but I should be because I, every day I'm watching videos on Teslas, Rivians, seeing new tech that's coming out, battery storage, and I never see anything really talking about the safety aspects of the car. So um, thank God Mia was okay. Thank God Bianca was okay. Thank God the lady in the other car was okay. Everyone was safe, but definitely, definitely panicked. Um, what happened was my wife was driving straight. So she was going straight, heading um, southbound. And as she was driving, a car, Toyota 4Runner, was backing out of their driveway. And this is a main road. So what I think she did is just slam the gas because she saw an opening and literally T-boned the side of the truck right here. So as my wife is driving straight, she gets hit here. My wife was talking about it, Bianca, and she was saying, I felt the whole car go, like it wanted to lift up off the ground, but it stayed, it landed back down, it stood steady. So I'm, maybe the tires didn't come off the ground, but the center of gravity lifted up off of the car. Um, and she would manage to keep it straight. She's like, I was doing everything possible to keep the car straight. So she wound up probably, you know, a thousand feet away from the accident. Um, and then the other car was um, there in the middle of the road and she managed to keep the truck straight. And that's the one thing she said. She was like, I was just fighting to keep the truck straight. So when the cops got to the scene, they're like, why is the car all the way up here? And she's like, I was just fighting to keep it straight and on the road because if you know New Paul's where it was, there was a ditch on the side of the road um, right there that she could have went down. Side impact happened here. And this is where the car seat was right behind here. So obviously being a first time parent, dad, right when I got to the scene, you're like worried about whiplash. You're worried about all of those things. Um, the paramedics checked me out on scene and Bianca, she was coherent. Everything was good. Didn't look like she had um, anything that was jumping out of the ordinary. We went to our primary physician after that, just for another second opinion and check. And this truck is 6,600 pounds. The center of gravity um, is so much lower because of the battery pack. The battery pack in this truck is 131 kilowatt hours. Um, I even looked at the safety ratings for this truck. Um, I pulled them out last night and just some things that I saw, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gave the Ford F-150 Lightning an overall safety rating of five out of five stars with four stars in frontal crash and rollover tests and five stars in side crash test. So this was the five star rating right here on the side crash test. And we put that to the test. I think the thing that I think about is, you know, like if she was in the Model Y, like she would have been safe as well or in another vehicle. But what this truck did, it just swallowed up that impact so much where um, just the distance between where the car seat is and the height of the truck, the weight of the truck just led to the overall safety of, of everyone being safe. Um, the other woman was in a Toyota 4Runner um, that backed straight into this. And just to keep in mind, like this was, this was not like, oh, we're backing out at like two miles an hour. She was backing out at a significant speed because when Bianca was driving straight, there was no sight of that car coming out of the driveway. So as she's driving forward, that side impact happens here. The adjuster came to look at it and the body shop was looking at it. You could see here the cab of the truck is just shredded open right here. And then they also said there was subframe damage as well. And you could see here the body of the truck is just bent in back here. Um, tire is shredded open. Um, rim is cracked. I mean, you could see it in here. I could put my finger in there. Um, and door obviously won't open. It's um, bent in, but these are things that some things cosmetic out here that 
replace the door, fix it, but this, the frame and then also the cab being shredded open, they deemed the truck totaled. So uh, we had to go through the process of figuring out the value of the car, what they would pay, what it's worth, all of those kind of things. Also learned a valuable lesson about the cap on her insurance, about what they could pay out. So working through all of those details, but yeah, this is, this is the final video of this truck because what I'm doing here today is I'm getting our plates, um, clearing out everything that's inside of the truck and the insurance company is coming to pick her up. Uh, right now they're saying the value of the truck is around 46,000 is the value that they're putting, putting on the vehicle and her insurance cap, they wound up, um, we're still going through that process of like what the cap on the insurance is, but it looks like they are going to be able to cover it at the end of the day because her cap was 50,000 is what the cap was. So we fell just under that. Um, so we're able to go through her insurance. Originally, we thought we we're gonna have to go through ours because that's the first thing that they called and said, they're like, you're gonna have to put this through your insurance. And I was like, what? Why would we have to put this through our insurance if, if we're not at fault? Um, but luckily that all got worked out over the past couple of weeks. And um, now we'll be looking for another vehicle like this. That's the first thing my wife said was she was like, I want that exact same truck because it did its job it kept us safe and um, the car seat was on this door. So um, she was, uh, car seat was here. We wound up taking the car seat out because um, we didn't wind up using it, but I thought we were gonna use it. And in realizing it, once you've been through a crash, you basically got explained to me like it's a helmet. Once, once you, you know, wrecked on a bike and your helmet cracked, or even if it didn't crack, it's always good to get a new one. So. Um, we filed with the insurance company to pay for the car seat, roughly $300, but, um, yeah, the car seat was right here and you could see window, no airbags, nothing was deployed. Um, and then in the front also no airbags were, were deployed up front and, uh, yeah, inside car is pretty intact. It actually disconnected from the app on my phone, which I was, which I was sad about. But um, yeah, that's, that's the interior of the car. And we'll just go in the back a second just to look over here as well. So back here, tailgate, everything was fine over here. Ordered these on Etsy, sad to see them go, but these were, these were the wire nuts that um, uh, I put on there. This guy that makes them and 3D prints them on Etsy is pretty, pretty cool the way they ship those. It's funny, Jack here that owns the body shop, he goes, what, what are these? Did you wire something to the back of the truck? And I was like, no, just, just wire nuts. Now I gotta move the cyber truck because we're in the way of a garbage truck. So it's a wrap on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Signing out, guys.